We begin with our continued coverage of the volcanic eruption in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This evening, experts say the eruption of the Lassifer volcano in the Caribbean island is already worse than the last event in 1979. St. Vincent and the Grenadines has been on red alert since April 8, with thousands evacuated and the island covered in ash. Javon Keyes reports. The sound of ash falling on a car in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The might of the matter expelled from the La Sofria volcano. This is a view from the Belmont lookout in the safe zone. Ash as far as the eyes can see. Ash plumes are as high as 15 kilometers into the atmosphere. Numerous roofs have caved in under the weight of ash. Experts say the volcano's explosive activities have not subsided in the last 24 hours. We have had a continued, we've continued to record episodes of, of tremor. Um, these episodes of tremor normally last about 20 minutes. Um, and there's an interval between them. The interval between them range from about one and a half hours to about three hours. There's also been island-wide power outages and impact on water supply. Uh, thickness of the ash and so on uh, has contaminated much of the water reservoirs that we have, the fresh water resources. Areas in the red zone are also at risk of pyroclastic lava flows. And so those are the most dangerous because they are super hot and super fast. Um, and they are quite unpredictable in how they behave. And volcanologists today are still trying to figure out how they behave because it's essentially, it's solid material, but it's flows like water. It's very strange, these flows. Um, and for these flows, particularly for the Lasso Frere, they um, can be channelized down river valleys, um, the ones directly connected to Lasso Frere. They can blanket the entire flanks of the volcano, so spread across the whole entire area. They can also travel uphill and surmount topography. Uh, and they can also flow over water. So that reduces the chance of survival for those who choose to remain in the red zones if there is an event. About 20,000 persons have been ordered to evacuate. There are currently more than 3,200 residents in shelters. At the shelters, people seem to be coping. The biggest worry at the shelters would be uh, the maintaining of COVID-19 protocols, but the National Emergency Management Organization and the health authorities seem to uh, have a grip on that. He says despite the contentions of mandatory vaccination for those who use government shelters, there are so far no reports of anyone being forced to take the jab to be in the shelters. The last volcanic eruption in St. Vincent was in 1979. So far, how does this compare? The main difference between the two that we know so far is that there's more volcanic material being outputted in a 2021 eruption. In the well, previous explosive eruptions for La Sofrere, in 1812, it lasted for six weeks. For 1902, it lasted for 10 months. For 1979, it lasted for two weeks. So we, we really do not know. It, for this eruption currently, it could last for days to weeks to months. And from the data we have um, um, currently, uh, we believe this eruption is on the scale of 1902. So but there's no way to know exactly. There are currently numerous donation drives as the country is in need of various resources. Javon Keyes, TVJ News.